I'm with David Morzenek from Airworks has been kind enough to offer us a seat because this show is wild. We've been running around. David, thank you so much and thanks for having us here on your stand. Yeah, I mean, we live in an interesting time, right? It seems like we have certainly all of a sudden realized we need high-speed internet and connectivity and that's actually good for people, right? And so everyone is trying to build at the same time, right? Which is obviously a problem. And I think what comes up all the time is just the labor to execute on projects planning, design, permitting, and then construction is in really short supply, right? And so we got to find ways to do things more efficiently, right? The fiber rollout or the, the telecommunications rollout process that there's new efficiencies generated by new solutions generally that, that are yeah. really interesting. So let's dig deeper into those solutions, uh, perhaps any that stand out to you that if you are making the most impact today uh, in terms of those efficiencies and deployments. Yeah, so I mean, we at Airworks, right? Built a company about seven years ago. We're a software company that gets you faster to fiber design and permitting by basically accelerating the walkout and mapping process for infrastructure, right? So we leverage a core technology that looks at any kind of reality capture data. So LiDAR sensors, in the field data, mobile capture solutions, drones, aircrafts, right? To get field data as efficiently as possible. But then really our core is to leverage AI to analyze that data, right? Because even though you use digital data today, there's still a human processing that data, right? And so we want to speed up that entire process to basically go from three miles a day process to ultimately an overnight process, right? We, we're not there yet, right? But we can already say that we're probably five to 10 times faster than walking the field with a stick on the ground. If you don't know what's there today, who has built fiber, how many, pole, how many wires on the poles, what are the clearances? Is it a light make ready? Is it complex make ready? Like how do you even design anything really because the exact conditions matter in the field and can really make or break a project right so i feel like that's where we believe having this type of highly accurate mapping data can almost automate and streamline your entire process all the way to construction and then back again into like the maintenance phase of, of fiber networks a lot of competition right how do these fiber goes how do they need to think about their network expansion well we hear speed of market is extremely important Right, You want to be the first in the market to build out your network that gives you kind of take rates that match your investment profile of your investors, most likely, right? But if you're facing a lot of delays in permitting and planning and engineering and design, you won't get there, right? And this is where I think we really align with our customers to, to get them in the ground as fast as possible. And I think that's really important. So if I were an ISP, obviously, uh, yeah, like thinking through what are the newest technologies that can scale, right? Not just to build 10 miles or 20 miles, right? But hey, what if we want to do a 500 mile build out in, in, in a specific area, right? How fast can we execute on that? That is really, really crucial. We live in a more complex world, right? We don't always have just a power line up on a pole now, right? We have multiple different providers for both telco and power sometimes, right? And so how do we think about getting the permits to still build out our networks? So better data earlier is going to reduce risk dramatically downstream and your, your plan across. Yeah. And I imagine automation will play a role, right? So how do you see that playing a role in, let's say, in the next five years? Yeah, it's just, I mean, there's so much potential in automation. I think we're still very early in, in what we're seeing. We're leveraging AI as part of our process, right? So we can scale a lot faster and a lot better and process a lot more data than we otherwise could with human labor, right? And so that, yeah, alleviates that burden for our customers. They know they have a 2,000-mile project, we can do it. In the same time, we have a 100-mile project, we can do it in the same time, right? So that gives them that confidence, right? But I think you'll see automation on all streams. And I think what's really important is data connectivity. We come from a world where, like, every phase of the project has their own data silos, right? And now we can link that back up and really go with good data from the beginning, create really good high-level design drawings, even feasibility studies and, and kind of the, the ROI analysis. Hey, do we bring that back into our maintenance plan to actually see, hey, is that playing out? What is the condition of the network, right? So... I think we'll see a lot more automation all throughout that entire process to also make sure that the network delivers what it's supposed to deliver at the end of the day. Listen, David, thank you so much again for taking the time. It's fascinating to hear everything you guys are up to and can't wait to uh, catch up in the future and see how things are, are going on. Thanks for the time. Thanks for stopping by.